Tony ou Jumba Bon choix. Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we were saying about that Quraysh had come out in their full force. So when Quraysh came out in their full force, Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who made dua, the Sa'ali who made dua, the Sa'ali who made a small hut-like thing for Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, called the Arish in Arabic. So Nabi Salaam sat here and made dua on the night. So he wanted to make dua on Nabi Salaam. He said, Allahumma hadithi qurayt. What is the qurayt? Wa fakrika. Wa haadhuka. Wa tukadibu rakula. Allahumma haadhuka. Wa haadhuka. Nabi Salaam said, Wa haadhuka. They have come with their horses and their armor and their armor. And they've come with to show their fakr, their, their pompous, their pomp and their show. They are stopping, trying to stop your deen. And they have come out to do tadheed, falsify your Prophet. So Allah, do our nusra with the wada that you have given me. And Allahumma ahinahum al ghada. Therefore, Allah destroy them tomorrow. So, some of the Quraysh, but everybody in Quraysh was ready to, they hadn't come out to wage war upon the Muslims. Because obviously they all had blood ties. Abu Bakr Siddiq, radiallahu ta'ala, his son at that time, Abdul Rahman bin Abi Bakr, was not a Muslim. He had to come out. Sayyidina Abbas, radiallahu ta'ala, Uncle of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he was not a Muslim, he had to come out also. With Sayyidina Abbas, Aqeel ibn Abi Talib, Aqeel was the brother of Sayyidina Ali. At that time he was not a Muslim, but he had to come out in support of Quraysh. And there were many others, Sufyan bin al Harith ibn Abdul Muttalib. This was a cousin of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They all had to come out in support of Quraysh. But they didn't like to fight. <coughs> Hakim ibn Hizam, he was the nephew of Sayyidina Khadija radiallahu ta'ala. He had come out also. So Hakim ibn Hizam, he went and talked to Walid ibn Mughira that we should not fight in this war, we should make he compromised with the Muslims. They are our brothers. They are from our families. Some of them are our nephews. Some of them are our fathers. Some of them are our brothers. So we should try to make a compromise. So Walid initially agreed. He agreed that we should not fight and we should try to make a compromise. So Hakim bin Hizam went to Abu Jahl. So Abu Jahl was wearing his armor. So Hakim bin Hizam told him that Walid has this right. And I agree with him that we should talk to him. So Abu Jahl said that today is the day of criterion of Qital. Today we either will defeat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we will kill him and his people, and we are more in might. They were three times more. So we will easily diminish them. So once and for all, there will be no Muhammad, there will be no Islam, there will be nothing. And he said, all of you are cowards. So then, Abu Jahl, he mentioned to one of them that they killed your brother, the Muslims. So he started to wear, and then all of the Quraysh were gathered and told that we have to fight. So Abu Jahl sent out a rider called Umair bin Wahab al Juhami to see how many the Muslims are, what kind of army. So when he came around, he saw that the Muslims were more than 300. So he came back and he told Abu Jahl that they are not more than 300, maybe a few more. He said, did you see around the mountain, behind and everywhere, if they have armies secretly hiding? He said, they have nothing. So Abu Jahl said, we will 
defeat them. <laughs> because it's very easy to defeat a small number. That's what people, many a time, people lose battles with small numbers, they win over might. And especially when the battle is about Allah. Any ally karimatullah. And to, to show the once Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, he did a speech in the Lal Qira in the Red Fort in Delhi after independence. So a hundred thousand or two hundred thousand Muslims were there. So he said something and they all said, Allahu Akbar, Nara Takbir. He said two hundred thousand people saying Allahu Akbar at the same time loudly. So Pandit started laughing. Pandit started laughing. So people were amazed that why is he laughing? So he said, when your forefathers came, when Muhammad bin Qasim came to sin, he said, they were very few. But when they said Allahu Akbar, they shook our hearts, they broke our hearts. And your Allahu Akbar did not even do a shiraf in this, in this wall. He didn't even tear the wall. So a Hindu is telling us, a Mushrik is telling us that your Iman is not of that standard but the standard of the Sahaba, the standard of the people after them, which is true, which is true. قُلِ الْحَقُّ in كَانَ مُرَّقْ Say the truth even if it's difficult. Today we are in huge numbers, billion plus. But look at it in India, look in Kashmir, look at it in Iraq, look at it in Sham. Everywhere we are being beaten. Why? Allah is the same Allah. The Quran is the same Quran. But the Muslim does not have that faith. It's like once a Khan Sahib and a Hindu were walking. So the Khan Sahib, the, Hindu, the Khan Sahib wanted to go for the call of nature. So Hansa moved us to a side and he peed and then he went. So Hindu watched it. Next day the Hindu wanted to pee, he was with Hansa, so he went in the same corner and he peed. Hansa gave him ba <coughs> started beating him. The Hindu said, Hansa, kya ho gaya? Marta hai unko. So he said, Sharam nahi aati, hamari kibli ki tada move karke. Mutta. You face our Qibla and you pee. He said, that yesterday you peed in the same direction. He said, Tere baap ka Qibla, Mere baap ka Qibla. <laughs> this is what we are. When somebody attacks Islam, we all jump. But when we don't want Islam, it doesn't matter. Many people come in Tarabi late. They don't pray Isha, but they pray Tarabi. That Tarabi is not accepted. Not that. that is not accepted. Why? Because Allah made Isha fall. Tarabi is Sunnah. If you don't pray, Allah will not punish you. But if you don't pray Isha, Allah will punish you. So this is what we become. We go for the extra, but we don't want to do the far farai. Sahaba did the farai and the nawafid and the sunnah. So when they stood in the battlefield, Hazrat Ali said, "Ana ladi ummi sammatni haydara, kalayti ghabatin karihun manzara." And how was Hazrat Ali? Hazrat Ali was a thin man at that time. Hazrat Ali was single body. In Khaybar, he picked up the door and he threw it. The muhaddisin and mufassirin and seerah people have written that that door, three hundred men could not pick it up and throw it. Hazrat Ali alone threw it. The Urdu Shair says, Jab uthai talwar hai dare tarrar me Jab uthai talwar hai dare tarrar me Aghak ke bhar diye paja me gashkare farrar me Hazrat Ali was very very brave. So three men came out from Quraysh to start the battle. Utbah, Walid and him. 
The third one was the father and two were the two were brothers and one was the son. So they said to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa Muhammad, send to us people who are our caliphs. They didn't want to fight the Ansar. They said, these are farmers. They don't know how to fight. We are Quraysh. So Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to Sayyidina Ali, Kum ya Ali, Kum ya Hamza, and Kum ya Ubaidah. <coughs> Hamza was Nabi Salaam's paternal uncle. Ali was Nabi Salaam's cousin. Later on, he became his son in law And Hazrat Ubaidah was Ubaidah ibn Harith ibn Abdul Muttalib. Sayyidina Ubaidah was Nabi Karim Salaam's first cousin. So then, the fight started. That's how they used to fight in medieval times. First, the champions used to come out. Hazrat Ali killed his. The one who came out against him. Hazrat Hamza killed his. Hazrat Ubaidah killed, but he was cut on the foot. And he is the first person shaheed in Islam in the battlefield. The first woman to be shaheed in Islam is Sumayya radiallahu ta'ala anha, the, the mother of Sayyidina Yasir radiallahu You know how they killed her, Abu Jahan? Put her between two camels. And he made the camels run. And then he got a spear. And he speared her in her private heart. It's easy to say, for me to say, you to hear, but that's how Islam came to us. They didn't, they didn't just sit there at home and do nothing. So today is the, what date is it today? What Tarabi is it? 17. Today is the day of Badr. Today is the day of Badr. So I'm going to recite some of the names that Imam Bukhari has mentioned. And then afterwards, you make dua on your own accord. Whoever recites this and makes dua, Allah accepts the dua. In your dua, remember the masjid, with Allah to fill our hearts and everything. Babu Tasmiyat Mansum Yamina Hibad bin Fil Jami. Allah di Wadahu Abu Abdullahi Ara Hamu Fil Mardin, and Nabi Muhammad Ibn Abdullahi Al Hashim Niyo. Rabbi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Abu Bakr bin Siddiq, from Ma'amar ibn al-Khattab, ala adabiyu, from Uthman ibn al-Fan, khandafahu ala ibnatihi wa barabu lahum sahmihi. From Ma'ali ibn Abi Talib al-Hashimi, from Iyas ibn al-Bukair, and Nabi Muhammad ibn al-Abdillahi al-Hashimi, Rabbi Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, in Iyas ibn al-Bukair, Bilal ibn al-Abakma, ala Abi Bakr bin Qurashi, Hamzat ibn Abdil Muttalib al-Hashimi, wa Hath ibn Abi Balta'at, Harif ibn Quraysh, Abu Hudayfa ibn Uqbat ibn Rabi al-Quraysh, Qurashi, Harith ibn Rabi al-Ansari, Utri ibn Badri wa huwa Harith ibn Sukraqa, wa ta'ala fi al-Nazara, Qubayd ibn Adi al-Ansari, wa Qanis ibn Hudayfa ibn al-Ansari, Rifa'at ibn Rafi al-Ansari, Rifa'at ibn Abdi al-Mundir, Abu Dubaba al-Ansari, Zubayr ibn Rawwam al-Qurashi, Zayd ibn Sahil, Abu Farhat al-Ansari, Abu Zayd ibn Ansari, Sa'ad ibn Malik al-Zuhri, Sa'ad ibn Khawlat al-Qurashi, Sayyid ibn Zayd ibn Abi ibn Ufayl al-Qurashi, Sahar ibn Hanif al-Ansari, Zuhayr ibn Rafi al-Ansari, wa Afu Abdullah ibn Uthman, Abu Bakr ibn Siddiq al-Qurashi, Abdullah ibn Uthman ibn Masud al-Khudani, Abdul Rahman ibn Awf al-Zuhri, Ubaidat ibn al-Harith al-Qurashi, Ubaidat ibn al-Sami al-Ansari, Umar ibn al-Khattab al-Adwi, Uthman ibn Arfan al-Qurashi, Khalafahun Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam al-Ali Gatihi wa Barbarahu bin Sahmiyahi ibn Abi Talib al-Hashimi, Amr ibn Awf ibn Hanafi, Hanif ibn Amir ibn Duwayt, Uqbat ibn Amir ibn Ansari, Amir ibn Rabi ibn Al-Azi, Aas ibn Sa'ad ibn Ansari, Wami ibn Sa'ad, Wayim ibn Sa'ad, Sa'id ibn Ansari, Iqbal ibn Malik ibn Ansari, Khudamat ibn Mazhuni, Khudam, Qatadat ibn Naman, Al-Ansari, Mu'ad ibn Amr ibn Jamuh, Mu'abud ibn Afara, Wa Afuhu Malik ibn Rabi'ah, Abu Usayy al-Ansari, Murarat ibn Rabi'i al-Ansari, Ma'an ibn Adi al-Ansari, Mistah, ابن أثاثة ابن عبار ابن المطلب ابن عبد المناف مقداد ابن عمر الكندي حنيف بني زهرة غلال ابن أمية الأنصاري رضي الله تعالى عنه ورضو عنه These are all the people who were Some of them are mentioned not Imam Bukhari has been mentioned everyone but there was 313 after reciting this in the Hajar al Asqalani, Rahimullah has written that whatever dua you make to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah accepts the dua in the barakah and, of, and the prayer of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the Sahaba. We should make dua also tonight that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whatever our needs are, deen and dunya, Allah fulfilled them. Say Amin. Amin.
and whatever our ukhrawi needs are, which are more, that Allah send us into Jannah without reckoning, without hisab, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us Jannah to those. Amen. Allah save, the life, save our children, our coming generations. The, our generations in America and everywhere else, even back home in Pakistan, Bangladesh, India, wherever we are from, Allah save our generations from disbelieving Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is something which is very widespread. One brother just told me today that one of his nephews has become an atheist. This is a serious matter. Because if we come into this country, we earn everything and we lose our children, then we have lost everything. We can be billionaires and trillionaires, but it won't be any benefit. But if our children's Iman, our coming generation's Iman is there, then inshallah our coming to this country will be beneficial for us and for them also. All these masajid, madaris that he is trying to establish and so on, all this is so that Iman comes into not only our people, but the people around us. And if we make effort, inshallah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give Iman to others also. So may Allah save my, save God, my children, your children, my generations, your generations, through the barakah of the Sahaba. Amen. Amen.